Okay, Fight Freaks, this is your boy Big Steve G, the voice of the TitleFight.com, and we have a very special guest with us today. We have 2004 U.S. Olympian and current world title challenger, Vicente Escobedo, on the phone. Thanks for taking the time today to speak with us, champ. No problem. So you have a huge fight on July 21st against Adrian Broner. How's training camp coming along so far? No, it's been great. Sticking to the game plan, everything's well. I feel great. Um... So where do you currently train? I train out here in the desert, you know, in Indio, California, near um, Palm Springs, the Timothy Crafty. So you are training with Diaz, so you do get to train around a pretty good stable of fighters, such as Bradley. So um, yeah. so there's a the heat's getting you, uh, getting you prepared pretty well for this fight, then. Uh, you are uh, 4-0 and since you lost to Robert Guerrero. 4-0 uh, and against credible opposition. Uh, did you make any changes or adjustments in your arsenal since the Guerrero fight? Yeah, you know, we, we looked at the we looked at the video tape and, uh, and found the mistakes I made. Uh, you know, as far as uh, fighting Robert, you know, Robert was a strong fighter. Uh, we knew that coming in. Uh, you know, I got caught with some shots that was my my. Uh, you know, I just I happened to uh, to learn a lot about the, from the Robert the Guerrero fight. Uh, yeah, but now I feel like at this time of my, uh, my career, I feel like I'm, I'm a complete fighter. Like the whole package is, is done, and um, I feel like I'm on my best. So, yeah, so it's, you're taking that as a learning experience to make you a better fighter going forward. Okay. Absolutely. So what age did you take up boxing, and what prompted you to want to become a fighter? <laughs> you know, I, uh, I started at age 13. I was the kind of kid that always with the friends, with it's riding the bike, running. I played a lot of football. Pop Warner, I played a lot of baseball. Just randomly, my older brother, uh, my older brother played the boxing, and I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. So uh, boxing was in my blood. It was just, uh, it was just a part of me, and I just fell in love with the sport. And it wasn't until about the age 15 where I decided that I, I wanted to, to win a gold medal for it. But, you know, that was, that was my, my first uh, goal. Okay, so you're just basically an all-around athlete that. Uh... You know, just decided to take up a new challenge, and boxing was it. Absolutely. Any particular fighters you enjoyed uh, watching growing up, and are there any particular fighters you enjoy watching today? One of my favorite fighters of all time, you know, has to be Sugar Ray Leonard. I love, I love the way he, he boxed, and he had those fast hands, and he moved. He was off the of I admire him. The boxing, outside of boxing. Um, you know, so... Uh, who are my top, top fighters. And uh, any particular fighters you enjoy watching today? One guy I, I, I do admire is uh, also is watching um, is, is Bernard Hopkins, believe it or not. Uh, with his experience and all the things he does, the tactics, he's, uh, he gets the job done. Like a lot of people say, oh, he's a corner fighter. Yeah, he's, they want to see my The thing about Bernard is he gets the job done. Uh, and he does it well. I admire his age. You know, his age to me is you know nothing's impossible. An age is just a number. And for example, with Bernard Hopkins, uh, another guy I like to watch is uh, also uh, Sergio Martinez. Uh, another guy that um, people think that his age uh, is a big factor, but it's not. You know? So those two guys, uh, I think, the best experience. Okay, so you pretty much love uh, you love technicians, technicians that get in there, you know, use their head and. Um, you know, chess yeah, players, yeah. basically. Yeah, well, Bernard has all those tactics, you know. It's just experience. It just has all those tactics that what it does to, to win a fight. Uh, you were a highly regarded amateur and Olympic team member who signed a huge deal with Golden Boy. Uh, when you turned pro, you appeared on a lot of uh, the big Golden Boy cards from the beginning. Any unusual pressure that you faced during that time? You know, yeah, I'm not going to lie. It was... Uh, I was being compared to the next Golden Boy, the next Oscar Double Holder, and it was it was a lot of pressure, you know, uh, a lot of pressure coming to fill in those shoes, a lot of shoes to fill in, and uh, uh, I had a pressure with uh, even Golden Boy, you know, but I thought the same weight class as Oscar, and American like Oscar, it was 
uh, favorite of the gold medal. Uh, there's a lot of pressure, on me, but um, I don't regret anything that, that happened in the past. Um, but there was pressure with that. You know, it's just uh, and, and um, the next big thing, you know. But um, you know, things happen for a reason, and um, at the end of the day, I'm black where I'm at right now. Happy for all the opportunities and all the boy and, and everything that God has got put in front of me. You know, experience and I'm, I'm very thankful for that. Yeah, you know, I love the way that you, you know, kept your career going, you know, um, nothing sets you back, really, you know, you just pick yourself up, keep going forward, and that's, and that's good, champ, you know, and you're going to get your title here Absolutely. soon. Absolutely, you know, and it's good, you know, people get knocked down, but, you know, you just got to get back up and fuck, so that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to get knocked down, but, you know, it's, it's what you do after that, so I come back and I get up and fight, you know, that's what I'm doing, fighting for that, that little title that I'm Okay, did you form any special friendships with any of your fellow teammates from the 2004 Olympic team? And if so, do you keep in touch with any of them today? I have a good relationship with everyone on the team. Uh, the bad thing about that is you know, we don't keep contact with each other. Uh, you know, I watch them in their careers, and uh, some have them have blossomed and some have not, you know, but... Um, one thing we I do keep my eye on is, is like Andre Ward. Andre Ward is is out there and he's his best. And I knew he was one of the best out there. I was very very humble. Uh, he's worked hard for where he's at right now. So that's another that's another guy that I really gotta you know admire and give my hat off to him because he's he's done a really really good job. Yeah, you read my mind. I was about to ask you about Andre. All right, well, you are facing one of the hottest young champions in the sport in Adrian Broner in his hometown of Cincinnati. Um, he has that very slick Mayweather-like style. Um, what, do you feel, what do you feel you have to do in this fight in order to break through that defense and take him out of his rhythm? Show no fear. <laughs> you know what? It's like, I feel that at my age, I've been there. I've done that. I, I know what it's like. I, I know what it's like to, to, to think. I know what it's like to face a fighter like him. And um, there's nothing you can say that distracts me. I'm going to stick to my game plan and do what I do best. And um, he's going to bring out the best of me. I know Bernard's a good fighter. I think nothing is from him. He's the kind of guy that's going to bring the best out, best out of me. And him talking. But so that's fine. I'm going to have to do fine. It just fires me up. That fires me up. And I just feel that Bernard's going to bring out the best of me. This is obviously your biggest fight of your career so far, and this is his toughest test of his career so far. So uh, it's um, a lot of pressure on both sides there. Absolutely, absolutely. I want his belt. We're going to shock the world. We'll be rooting for you July 21st. Thank you, Thank you. All right.